Festival. Good afternoon, esteemed guests, students, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to today's opening ceremony and HKDI Inspire 2023 towards a sustainable design in a hybrid mode. I'm Isaac, a HKDI student from HD in advertising design. Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Sonia. I'm also from HKDI student and from advertising design. Uh, it is our pleasure to be your MCs today. Sonia. Sonia, I'm sure you are heard you have heard of HKDI Master Lecture Series. It is organized by HKDI twice a year, bringing the international experts in the creative industries together. Yes, I said I'm drawing some of the previous master lecture and found them very insightful. Well, the theme of this master lecture series is towards a sustainable design for a sustainable world to be more than just a slogan. We must transform our lifestyles. We believe design is an important driver of this shift to explore the links between sustainability and design. It is our great pleasure to welcome the following guests. Mr. Wong Kam Singh, former secretary for the environment of the HKSAR government. Mr. Eddie Yu, co-founder of Co-Design Limited. Mr. George Chen, co-founder and CEO of Eco Inno Hong Kong Limited. Professor Michael Cron, Professor of Design and co-head of Resource Sustainability in the Arts, Zurich University of the Arts. Ms. Karen Sindel, Designer and co-head of Resource Sustainability in the Arts, Zurich University of the Arts. Ms. Isabella Geiges, Art Artistic Scientific Associate of Resources. Sustainability in the Arts, Zurich University of the Arts. Dr. Lei Lian Aung, Principal of Hong Kong Design Institute. Mr. Wang Wong, Vice Principal of Hong Kong Design Institute. Ms. Elita Lam, Vice Principal of Hong Kong Design Institute. Let's give a warm welcome to them. To kickstart the event, let's invite Dr. Lei Lian Ong, Principal of Hong Kong Design Institute, to give us a welcome speech. Dr. Ong, please. Hello, everyone. Good afternoon, KS, uh, Michael, distinguished guests, ladies, gentlemen, students, and uh, staff. Um, a very warm welcome to uh, today's uh, HKDI Inspire 2023 towards a sustainable future. Um, we, in, H in HKDI, we organize what we call Design Expanded Learning Program every year. Um, the Inspire, HKDI Inspire is one of which that we want students to learn and have the opportunity to acquire knowledge and skill outside, outside the standard curriculum. So, for example, bringing in exhibition from the International Museum will be one of which. And today's uh, this HKDI Inspire will be another one. And I'd like to thank Hong Kong and um, Hong Kong expert and Switzerland expert to come together today to um, give a number of series of lectures, workshop, and also um, to learn more about uh, sustainability. Um, this topic is not a new topic in HKDI. In fact, a few years back, quite some years ago, we have already embedded a green element in our curriculum. And um, we also encourage students to work on related projects on sustainability. But as time, you know, passes and environment changes, we have to update ourselves with what has changed in, in this topic. So I'm particularly grateful and 
cannot thank enough um, to KS Wong, Mr. Wong, uh, the former secretary uh, for environment, who has, a, who has lined up and arranged, um, organized a number of visits to the Hong Kong um, government site, the T Park, the Y Park, and um, to go through some of the policy, the government policy that has been implemented in Hong Kong. It really opened up our knowledge, you know, and uh, we talk about opening up students' horizon, but it is very opening, eye-opening for me and for my colleagues. And we bring back so many new things um, that we really want to see how we can review our curriculum and also bring back to our young people, our students, in terms of education and training, particularly the new area that actually we have already discussed with our friends from Zurich, um, the potential and the possible projects that we can do, um, a joint project with our partners, student partner in, in Zurich, such as in the fashion, fashion area, and also maybe in the um, packaging as we have discussed. So um, today's, um, this week's series is a very meaningful one. We have visit, not only a visit, but also uh, bringing in the expert from Hong Kong and Switzerland to talk about sustainability, exchanging uh, knowledge and sharing good practice on this topic. So I hope uh, students and staff um, would have a fruitful discussion and uh, knowledge gain um, don't be surprised that the institution will launch and uh, drive quite a number of new projects that comes along uh, in the near future so as to make this a very fruitful one. So do enjoy uh, the workshop and the master lecture series that comes along. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Dr. Aung. Now let's take a photo with the audience. Just look at our camera. One, two, three, smile. Glad to see your happy faces with the Max. Thank you. Okay. Let's begin our master lecture today. We are very honored to have Mr. Wong Kam Singh, former secretary for the environment of Hong Kong SAR government to give us a lecture titled, Yes, Minister, Yes, Designers. Let's design for a circular economy. During Mr. Wong's appointment in 2020, 2012 to 2022, he not only launched environmental policy blueprints, but also introduced innovative initiatives. The branding of waste to energy, red infrastructure and community recycling networks, now, let's welcome Mr. Wong. Mr. Wong, please. Principal uh, Dr. Ong, Michael, dear friends, I will speak in Chinese. <laughs> okay, but uh, to allow our friends from Switzerland to understand what uh, we are talking about, so the PowerPoints are in English, and I will add some key points so that our friends uh, will understand, and then we would have a more fruitful panel discussion. Okay. 支持一個可持續發展的設計
佢哋嘅最近嘅主席，所以咧喺唔同嘅地方咧都有一個設計嘅一個切入點。咁除咗呢個 policy 同埋 capacity 啦嚇，呢、这個呢、这個大家都應該識係嘛？这个、大沙鬼嚇，大沙鬼嘅設計咧都係即係我哋任內啊宣傳一個即係環保嘅教育啊 ，translator 啊。咁另外咧，我即係一位朋友咧，就係、是、Eddie 咧，就講我哋一啲。過去十年啊，環保處一啲公共設施 place making 嘅設計啊，第三方面咧，阿 George 咧就有啲嘅產品係代表咗香港一啲邁向循環經濟嘅一啲產品嘅設計啊，所以咧係有三個層次啊，大家可以今日係去分享嘅。Let me try. 咁嘅。Okay, I said I was the environment minister for the past decade. I was an architect by background, and now I'm the chairman of the Wu Jiechao, a charitable organisations. So I have three different backgrounds. So I will share with you today my experience in these three capacities and how they are related to sustainable design. So, first, let's think about it. Teacher, good. Instructor, good. Colleague, good. What do you think about the future and the future? What is the problem of sustainable development? 誒，頭先阿 Michael 啊，做一個中咧已經講咗類似嘅問題，但係最緊要社會好多問題 ，the world is not perfect， 但係有乜嘢問題係最關鍵嘅啊？要諗好 ，so Michael you understand my questions? Okay, what's the problem? What's sustainability? And most importantly, what's the most critical problems that we, including designers, should help? 今日咧就好彩有瑞士嘅朋友喺度，咁所以咧我就會同大家比較下啊瑞士同香港嘅相關一啲重要嘅數據。Okay, it's good to compare Switzerland and Hong Kong. I think Michael, in your country, you talk about the melting glaciers. 啊，如果大家諗到一個瑞士嘅話，好多好靚嘅雪山。呢、这個唔單止係自然嘅問題，係經濟嘅問題，係社會嘅問題。啊，如果啲雪山影響瑞士嘅旅遊業嘅話，啊，係經濟影響好大。香港屬一個熱帶嘅地方，越嚟越熱，我相信大家都感受到噶啦。阿多德安你嚟咗香港幾耐？你係覺得香港都越嚟越熱啦？陣間咧就～啊！喺 Q&A， 大家 Michael 可以講多啲，即係瑞士嘅情況。瑞士喺一個一百年度啦，啊，即係大家睇到圖像上、數據上咧，係變化好大嘅。今日主要講講翻又係香港嗰個數據。For our friends coming overseas, you can see the data in Hong Kong is in fact more alarming than alarming. In the past. The Hong Kong Observatory 天文台，佢會有一個 hot days， 你講定 hot days。But now this year they have a new definition， extremely hot days， because hot days cannot really describe the changing situation。What's hot day？ 咩叫好熱？好熱咧嚇，就係三十五度 C 或以上。Okay， since 1884, 一八八四年到而家百幾年 ，not many days according to the history is extremely hot days only occasionally. But in recent years, in recent few years, when Dr. Ong came to Hong Kong, the weather started to change. Right? You were from Singapore, right? And 
the most alarming is that last year, Gaolin, a total of 15 days were extremely hot days. Okay. So we all understand that it's frustrating. Hey, how I will be in Fage. I got got suicide, the trend is obvious, right? And not only that, but really that. So, summer is coming. So, Michael, if you are lucky, you should stay longer and feel the extremely hot days in Hong Kong. So, to me and to many scientists, the whole world, the whole four guys, climate change among the SDG goals, how to fight in the population. That is one of the most critical things that all professors, teachers, and students must understand and how food designs, we can help address that problem. They're good news. Different economies are working on their climate action, including the term that all of you understand, carbon neutrality. 大家都要知道,都有好消息的,大家全球在2015年,當年我代表香港參加聯合國氣候變化大會在巴黎舉行,大家都決定支持這個巴黎協定,大家都有一個更加清楚的減碳目標。One thing that I would like to highlight is that climate action is not something that you may consider to do when you have time. Time is the, of the essence. We have to do and achieve carbon neutrality before certain time. 即是氣候變化,邁向碳中和,是有清楚的目標,時間表,路線圖,同過去傾了幾十年的sustainability是不同的。I am saying that this time is different from the past. Even though sustainability has been a topic for long times when I was young. This time is the most critical point. Different economies, including Switzerland and Hong Kong, declared the carbon neutrality patch. According to the website, if it's correct, Switzerland aims to be carbon climate neutral or carbon neutral by 2050. Okay. I think it's announced in 2021, two years ago. Hong Kong, when I was the minister on behalf of Hong Kong. I launched the updated Climate Action Plan 2050. And that included various actions, timeline, et cetera, and including the target is to make Hong Kong carbon neutral before 2050. We think that we should be even quicker than Switzerland. Why? Hong Kong's economy is relatively simple. We don't have much industry. Compared with Switzerland, Hong Kong or the goal, Hong Kong, Asia, the big city, like Singapore, we will be more efficient because our economy is relatively simple. So the goal is not 2050; it is ASAP. Before 2050, it is before 2050. This graph shows our pathway, similar to Switzerland. Hong Kong people like hiking. Okay. So to decarbonize is like getting to the top, to the peak as soon as possible, and then get to zero. And Hong Kong reached the peak in 2014. We talk about that, we reached the peak in 2014. So we reached your peak earlier than Hong Kong. And now uh, we set a new target is to reduce the overall carbon emissions in Hong Kong before 2035 as a midterm target, and then reach zero before 2050. Here shows the pathway of Switzerland. You reached your peak, I think, in uh, 1990s, okay? And now, according to the latest data, the average Switzerland people is 4.4 tons of carbon emissions per year. How about Hong Kong? According to the 2002 data, it's 4.5. So it's similar. 
your population is about 8 million, Hong Kong approaching that. But your country is about 40 times of Hong Kong. And your mountains are four times than that of our highest mountain. Okay. I said, we said the target is to cut our carbon emissions by half before 2035 and carbon neutral before 2050. The Carbon Action Plan is a fake document. It's challenging, but uh, we produced it, a simple leaflet to tell people the basic things. It's available online, so I welcome all teachers and students to take a look and see how we can Hong, make Hong Kong's climate action to be realized according to the timeline. Basically, the leaflet shows what are our carbon emissions in Hong Kong. There are three major sources, electricity generation. And 90% of the electricity in Hong Kong is consumed in buildings like this. So no matter you are architects, interior designers, you are important persons to help Hong Kong to decarbonize. Second, transportation account for about 20% because Hong Kong's people is supporting mass transit, okay? But it's still accounting for 20%. The third is about waste. Okay, so circular design for internal products would help Hong Kong to reduce the waste related carbon footprints. The other vessels, what we have been doing in the past uh, decades, and it also highlights what are the particular local challenges. There are the local challenges. And what are the opportunities in Hong Kong? I'm about that in Hong Kong, there are four key strategies. One is support zero carbon electricity generation. Second is green building, green interiors to save energy. Third is green mobility. Fourth is waste reduction and circular economy. This shows the Hong Kong's typical carbon footprint. This is Hong Kong, a three and here I highlight the local challenges. So I highlighted the local challenges and they are called C-A-T-T-L-E, cattle. Uh, the first is cost of decarbonization. Go,我都想玩不了。但如果你那個產品的話,轉轉家轉,不能夠去處理到一個價錢問題呢,困難的。比如說,你個產品如果好貴的話,你幾好都幫不到個,所以一個要scale up。Hang 所有人都要參與, all have to participate in the transformation towards carbon neutrality. It's a big exercise. Third is that we need new people, good talents, because we need to be transformative. So for the schools, for the young people, there are opportunities, right? We have to catch up. 
s u t a i n l y with the technology， 我哋有唔同嘅科技啦。啊 ，George 啱啱講佢個產品嘅科技，電動車係新科技。And we understand that Hong Kong have our local space constraint， 香港嘅地方細，大家理解嘅細嘅地方點樣處理到呢個問題咧？係我有我哋獨特嘅挑戰。And last but not least, extreme weather. 大家知道我哋有減碳過程當中，香港又好，瑞士又好，新加坡又好，仍然會受到唔同嘅極端天氣嘅影響。啊，舉個例子，如果做一個產品，平時嘅香港温度嘅天天氣可以係可以運作嘅，但係如果我哋香港嘅天氣好似頭先初初嗰張圖咁，夏天連續日日都三十六度或以上嘅，喂，你個產品會唔會發燒咧？係咪仍然係 sustainable 咧 ？I'm talking about that extreme weather would affect Switzerland, Singapore, and Hong Kong. No matter how we, how hard we are going to decarbonize. In Hong Kong, for instance, we are facing hotter climate, particularly in summer, and getting longer and longer. The same product it may work in the normal temperature in the past decades, but in the future, if the extremely hot days continue to be prolonged and even hotter. Then your product has to be re-engineered, and there are new opportunities. Hong Kong has new opportunities. For instance, Hong Kong is a global finance center. We can transform our finance operation to help not only Hong Kong but also mainland China and the whole region. They need money, and we can make money. So there are green finance, green and circular economy, I and T. And also, education is very important for the institutes, educational institutes that we have to empower the young people to understand the challenges and opportunities. And for architects, interior designers, we will build carbon neutral communities. For instance, for the new developments in Hong Kong, no matter the urban metropolis or the new reclamation, we made the policy they must be carbon neutral. 即係話我哋新發展區，不論填海又好，北都都好，呢啲嘅新發展區。建築設計、整體、交通又好，都係要一個零碳嘅社區。So except today there would be three levels. One is the policy design and publicity. Second is the public facilities. First, the products. So you may be involved in different levels of design. So today is to share with you some examples. 啊，今日講政策同宣傳，或者溝通。一啲嘅公共設施，或者係建築、啲產品，唔同嘅地層次都可以有唔同嘅設計。So I recommend you particularly to understand the local policies. All of them are were launched in two years ago in two o two one. 依個兩個係好重要嘅香港嘅政策文件，一個講我哋整體嘅氣候行動，一個係講減廢，一個資源循環啊，循環經濟。Uh, these are the two very important and relevant policy documents that I wrote and that in 2021. And particularly for that one on the waste and circularity, there are six key policy areas or action areas. Reduction is important, clean separation of source, circularity, including the infrastructure. We support the industry and need the industry to support us. Innovation and cooperation. Including the Greater Bay Area, education and publicity. Ah, 源头减废、分类回收、啊资源循环嘅基建、成个工业点样去转型、创新同埋同成个区域，包括大湾区点样合作啊，以至教育宣传啊，依个就系成个资源循环蓝图点样配合一个循环经济嘅一个嘅框架。Again. The waste bin has a kind of lantern bell, the simple leaflet to highlight what are our key initiatives. Number two, there are targets, quantifiable targets. Ah, we also ah review what we have been doing. Ah, the past few things. Ah, including ah, Yuan Zhang, who went to the T Park, Y Park, ah, ah, Lu Zhi. Ah, these are the past ten years. We have many different ones. There are no one has the same. Some different projects. Every project is one. 硬件亦都結合軟件嘅設計，同埋頭先嗰六個個 action。呢度講多少少 ，OK， 都係啊 actions related to circular economy。There are opportunities. For instance, 
for waste reduction, lots of sulfide, the waste charging will be implemented very soon, according to our target to be done this year. And that would trigger more creativity and opportunities towards circular economy. I think Switzerland has implemented that for decades. Hong Kong, due to different reasons, we, are, have been, we have been in delay, but we have to catch up. And not only about the uh, overall waste charging, but also we have to deal with the plastic waste. Uh, so, so it's a very big issue for the world, especially in the world of the world. So, the waste separation about kin recycling. So we are building up the community recycling network. And I think uh, Eddie would elaborate that. The third is about the infrastructure. So yesterday we, were, we went to visit the T Park, O Park, and uh, I Park are forthcoming, etc. So the government built up the infrastructure so that all the recyclables collected, we have to ensure that they will be turned into resources. 過去大家聽到很多回收的資料之後不知道是歷史 在這裡的地方,附近都有玻璃樽和收桶。OK,一定確保收到的玻璃樽一定是轉廢為財。所以這個是現在最新的情況,掃交都是香港都會將所有掃交,不同掃交都可以轉廢為財,有下游的基建,
the biggest amount of waste in Hong Kong is food waste, right? About one third by weight. So we have to focus on food waste as one of the top most priority. If we are talking about circular economy, if we can design how the food industry could support waste reduction, right? So the first thing is that it should support the cultural change. When we launched that, we asked people if, say, you go to a restaurant, if you can't finish the food, take home the leftover. I say, okay. Before that, people hesitate to do that. But after a year, no matter they are the restaurant owners or the customers, they find that ah, they are listening to the big waster. So they start to order less food. At the same time, if there are less leftover, they take them home. This is the big waste that uh, Baxter has the Facebook and IG. According to the uh, better words, big waste is the number one government's icon with the blue tech in the world. Okay, okay. Uh, please like uh, is uh, uh, Facebook and IG. Okay. And also, I think two years after its birth, it got the uh, Hong Kong MATVP uh, Publicity Award. And it's the first time the government got that award, okay? It's a high honor. It's changing. So uh, when you visit uh, its Facebook and IG, you can understand that uh, it's trying to do more publicity from food waste reduction to waste reduction to less single-use uh, plastics to carbon neutrality, okay? So we are making the best use of that icon to help to publicize Hong Kong's environmental actions. I said I was an architect. I said I was a architect. So today I will use a architectural design to talk about a circular economy. I'm talking about that since I am an architect by background. I'm telling you that how architecture or architectural design can help the circularity. In fact, I graduated from Hong Kong U and then have my postgraduate studies in Canada. And in Canada, in early 90s, I witnessed the, the most, the greenest campus building in North America, how to support the circularity, okay? There was an old building next to the little building. They reclaim all the timber from the old building and use it as a structure for the little building. And everything they consider is in terms of circularity, including the facilitation for the construction at the end of the building's life. So, why you can use a circularity? You can use a circularity. You can use a circularity. You can use a circularity. You can use a so, the circular economy is not something new to me. Okay, I learned that when I have the uh, postgraduate study in Canada in early 90s, that is 30 years ago. This is the first steel carbon building in Hong Kong and that region. Um, there are a few things that I would like to highlight. It has to demonstrate the highest level of green building. That is carbon neutral. One thing that I would like to highlight is that our lifestyle, our design, our products are harming the world. The mission should be that our best design should not damage the environment and even make the world better. That should be the design concept. So in terms of the green building movement globally that I participated, the building should, for instance, balance the energy. So it generate the energy it needs, okay? It can generate even more energy and supply to the grid. 
after its consumption. In terms of materials, it also balanced because it has to excavate for the footing and also a basement. So in our design, when the building has to excavate the basement and footing, we make a berm there. Because for a building, the biggest rubbish is about the site formation. So for the design, we form the site so that all waste from the site formation could be kept within the site area. At the same time, provide better environment. Because there's a, a road here. If we form a berm here, actually provide a green oasis within your site. So the design is to integrate everything to improve the quality of the environment for the occupants at the same time to use minimal resources and minimal environmental impacts. And our example is this, okay? Because there was an old, old, old site to train the construction workers. So it was paved by concrete. So when we got the site, it's a brownfield site, there are mainly stones and concrete. So we kept them, we, we kept them. And we have a, a metal mesh, we call the Gabian design, and keep all the stones excavated in the older side. Okay. It's good for the environment because the rain can penetrate through this uh, kind of barrier down to the ground to nourish the plantation. So it's a bit of design how to reduce waste at the same time to enhance the overall environment. At the same time, it's a demonstration project help educate the people and designers how we can improve the design. So we're happy that after a decade, the trees are getting more mature. And that the tree design is the first native forest in the urban areas in Hong Kong. Okay. So it's again, well design how to select trees and not only to improve the micro environment, but also for the birds and butterflies. So the chikai, ah, not yet little young car ho. It's really got your tongue, but to hold some guy. I'm happy to see that people are enjoying the environment. Okay. There's another story about this space. This is the entrance of the lobby for the building. Ah, you are the chikai build that building. Go to big up. So I'm sure you got some long hair get hung gun. Or to your hung gun. So you got like go low long. It's MB. Outdoor space. The wind can get full. The space does not need space cooling, but it's very comfortable due to the orientation and shading. So we can create space, use minimum energy for operation. At the same time, good to allow the breeze to get full our building to the side behind. So it's good for itself and good for the environment. So big waste there, we see the still coming building. So uh, using the outdoor space. And also you can see that even for the paving, there's, there's slowly to pave everything by 100%. Okay. Save money, save materials, good for the leisure and good for education. Uh, the next example is I visited the Wu Ji Chiao, a Mo Ji Kiu. Our Lloyd Day, so I'm talking about this is in mainland China, in the northwestern part of the uh, uh, mainland. The building was completed a few years ago. For Wu Ji Chiao, that's uh, one thing that is interesting. In, in, in English, it's bridge to China. How Hong Kong can connect the young people in Hong Kong and mainland. We link up tertiary institutes like DI under VTC. Actually, they supported uh, Wu Ji Chiao to form a team and to work together on projects in Hong Kong and mainland. This building made of earth, mud, because in the northwestern part of the mainland, okay, they don't have much resources, only mud and earth. And it could be very cool in winter or even in April 
last month. So we modernized the earth construction, used the local materials to make it relevant. I stayed there uh, last month and uh, inspect the property under Wu Jiqiao. Okay. Inside, it was very warm, even though it's loaded outside. It for the local ch children and villagers to have a community space. You can see that how happy they are using that mud building. It's not only for the community center, but also we built demonstration houses for the local people so that they can also use the minimum resources to enjoy a good living. Uh,阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿阿
Okay. In fact, Hong Kong is the most popular in terms of EV. Last year, every 10 new pirate car, you guess how many? Every 10 new pirate cars registered in Hong Kong, how many? Huh? Seven. It's becoming the, the majority, right? Okay, very high level. And then this race plan is important. If you talk about the circular uh, uh, economy, and also there are leaflet on the environmental report summarizing what we've been doing in the past decade. So uh, this set is for photo on. <laughs> I mean, uh, the G version is available. Okay, so today, uh, close to my end, I hope that all of you understand and remember two keywords. One is carbon neutrality. Second is circular economy. And it's not something that could be weighted, okay? That uh, IE is action have to be timely, okay? And this forthcoming 10 years will be the most critical because we can't wait until 2050. So I'm telling you that you're starting here and graduate very soon, then these 10 years will be exciting, critical, challenging for you and our common future. So we went to visit the park. Designers can help to make a space green, keen, and happy, right? They all look very serious, right? Because we talk about the circular economy and climate actions, but when we go, go into the, the center, okay, how to upcycle the old tires become a good fun for the people. And who is this lady? <laughs> yeah, good design can help the environment and make people healthier and happier. Okay. And also, if they can't turn into resources, they can turn into energy. T Park is an incinerator that turn those waste could not be recycled into resources into energy. Heat up the water, etc. Okay, Isabella. Okay. And also, the story of the map is interesting. Okay. The world is not perfect, far from perfect. But for good and better design, we can make a change. So uh, this M for Michael from Switzerland. This M is Michael from Hong Kong, DI. Okay. So carbon neutrality and circular economy. Remember these two things. More information could be found on this centralized website, climateready.gov.hk. That is centralized communication with the public about what we are doing. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Wong, for an inspiring presentation. Sonia, you may know of Green Aid Community, which adopted six is a remarkably clever bit of branding. It uses the homophonic number six pronounced as log in Cantonese, which is similar to green log six as the logo, while its log design resembles the G in green. Today, we are pleased to have Mr. Eddie Yu, co-founder and co-design limited to share the story of six. Now, let's welcome Mr. Yu. Mr. Yu, please. Uh, okay, thank you. Uh, thanks for uh, KSK. First, a very you know uh, macro macro view on the overall you know environmental protection measures. Uh, for the overseas guests, sorry, uh, my presentation for the for my presentation, I'm going to do it uh, in Cantonese because uh, uh, it's particularly challenging to do a similar after lunch, particularly after the full meal. So uh, I think I better speak in uh, Cantonese uh, for better engagement. But it's basically, it's about you know, the story behind um, the, the recycling stores, which I explained the brand story behind uh, yesterday. And I think most lines uh, in my presentation are self-explanatory. So I, I, I'm sure you can understand. Well, I will add some points uh, if needed in English, okay? Okay. 
。啊，系啦，咁诶，我呢度我谂我就会比较 focus 啲去讲翻诶六仔个故事啦。我谂大家六仔就我谂喺香港，诶、呃，我谂有冇同我仔去过先？我想知道，睇有几多人有参与我先。OK， 诶、呃。系啦，咁我谂好多好多嘢，大家可能都会知道。我今日最主要想讲下后面成个诶创、呃、作个过程、个设计过程、个互动嘅过程。咁诶、呃，其实咧、呃、大家知道而家诶鹿仔，我哋而家叫惯咗鹿仔啦。但其实我哋而家佢正式嘅名叫鹿在区区嘅成件事啊。咁但系其实鹿在区区喺我哋开始做呢个 project 嘅时候呢，其实佢只系系。系指系、呃、政府有啲我哋叫做、呃、大站啊，啲大嘅一啲环保站，通常系一啲比较、呃、天桥底啊，一啲偏远少少嘅地方。譬如嗰阵时，佢已经用紧六在沙田啊、六在东区啊、六在观塘啊咁呢啲名啊。咁但系嗰啲反而我哋嗰阵、呃、接手去做嗰、那个诶嗰啲叫做 recycling store 咧，就唔系叫呢个名嘅。嗰阵时仲系叫做社区回收中心咁样嘅。OK。咁只不过系我哋觉得啊，六在区区个名好好，咁我哋当时建议政府，不如将六在区区个名就 adopt 喺成个社区回收网络，就唔系净系 f o 呢啲大站啦咁样样。咁系啦，呢、這个呢就系我哋接手之前上一代嘅上一手嘅叫第一代嘅社区回收中心啦。咁诶，好、呃、明显，咁嗰阵时就冇经过一个比较、呃、合适嘅设计啦。咁所以一路以嚟呢，其实佢嗰、那个其实喺度香港。成十年八载噶咯，系嘛？个长我哋接受嗰阵时啊，咁有几多人有留意过有呢一类咁样嘅回收中心喺嗰个市区嗰度啊？都唔系好多系咪？咁因为嗰阵时咧，其实佢都唔系冇人用嘅，咁但系就最主要就会系一啲好 hard core 嘅环保人士啦，又或者系一啲即系喺执呢啲纸皮去卖啊，去嗰度去做回收嘅婆婆啦咁样咯。咁所以咧，我哋嗰阵时接手咧，第一件事咧，其实就、呃、要谂。一个最重要嘅 challenge 就系点去改变啲人对于环保嗰个概念，因为正话嗰啲嘅地方可能好多人都唔想去啦，有可能甚至可能有少少印象啊，做环保又唔方便喎，又唔又唔系好觉得边度可以做到回收，又或者啊嗰啲回收嘅地方又唔系好 pleasing 啊咁样，成件事就唔好 encouraging。咁所以我哋第一件事就系话啊，点样可以改变人去呢一个咁样嘅睇法？呢、这个系最重要喺成个我哋所谓。做个 branding 嘅时候，后面要解决嘅问题啦。咁咁、呃、我哋好快，其实我哋好快就谂咗一个 idea 因为就我哋当时接手嘅时候，知道诶嚟紧会有成我哋第一个 phase 廿二间啦，喺十八区都开啦。咁嗰时候我哋感觉上啊，其实都好好 accessible 嘅开始。咁我哋觉得第一件事要话俾人听，做回收好方便嘅。OK， 所以我哋好好快就 adopt 咗一个便利店嘅 idea， 就去 propose 俾环保处。咁因為便利店，我大家都知道啦，好方便啦，同埋都係好乾淨企理啦，同埋好容易用啦咁樣。所以我哋個、呃、就用覺得呢個 idea 係好可係好可好適合我哋做推廣呢個 recycling store。我哋想做一個環保嘅便利店，咁所以就用咗呢個 idea。有啲人咪咁啦，咁大家都知道香港便利店最最嚇、啊、最最、呃、popular 嘅就係七仔啦咁樣。咁我哋嗰陣時有個講法就係、是，我哋好想啲人。去七仔买咗啲嘢，食完饮完就去六仔就去做回收，咁咧就咁成件事咧就会比较 fit 啦，咁啊同埋大家容易记啦咁样，咁所以我哋嗰时咧就 propose 咧用六字呢个字咧去代代诶、呃、去 represent 个 brand， 咁当然六字唔系净系去 echo 呢个七仔啦，佢六字本身有好多唔同嘅好处啦，第一数字首先系一个好处嘅，因为无论香港咧始终都一个。誒多文化多種族嘅嘅一個地方嚟嘅，咁其實你啲人如果你俾個名佢，其實你可能你喺巴基斯坦嚟又好，你喺外國嚟又好，本土又好，咁你望個六字咧，起碼你識得講啊，識得讀咁樣樣。咁另外六字就有誒喺喺我哋中文嚟講就係同個六同音啦，咁大家呢個好清楚啦。咁啊有六六無窮啦，六六無窮其實同呢個 recycling 或者今日我哋講嗰個 circular economy 其實都係好呼應嘅。咁所以成個 idea 咁。誒、呃，我哋覺得好合適啦，咁所以 propose 俾環保處啦。咁啊，呢個我真係喺度借呢個機會感謝下當時嘅局長啊，佢真係好好順設計師，同埋好好敢去接受一啲新嘅 idea。咁所以呢，喺嗰個設計上面呢，我哋都好快佢都可以接受咗成個 idea， 包括嗰個名。咁誒、呃，至於嗰、那個誒、呃、社區回收中心，我正話講咗啦，就話佢原本就唔係叫六在區區，佢就咁叫做社區回收中心嘅啫。咁我哋。嗰陣時 propose 話將六在區區擺到最頂，就代表係成個社區回收網絡。而嗰啲店呢，我哋改咗個名叫做回收便利店，叫 Echo， 即係
食字啊，自己要字就係呢個回收便利店咁嘅意思啦。咁跟住就係喺套用翻佢喺誒六在區區用緊嗰個 naming system 咧，就係嚟緊好多唔同嘅鋪咧，我哋都會用呢個六在乜乜六在乜乜呢個名嘅 system 去改嗰啲名。咁跟住咧，我哋咧就開始諗成個店咯。咁因為其實呢個成件事咧，剛才局長話我今次呢個 sharing 最主要係講嗰個 facility 嘅 design 啦。但係其實呢件事對我哋嚟講啊，包括咗有 communication 啊，亦都有 facility， 實有 promotion 啊，有 education 各樣嘢。咁喺嗰個 interior 嗰度，當然呢個部分咧，我哋係同我哋成個好重要啦，成個 project 我哋嘅 interior partner 阿 One Bite 一齊去做嘅。咁佢咧就 start with 咧就去諗嗰啲回收桶啊。因為我哋好快就諗下裏面我哋點樣要好 neat 咁樣去做到成個回收呢？就諗住一系列好 unified 嘅回收桶嘅設計。咁但係個回收桶呢，我哋 start with 一個開嘅口呢，應該點樣掉落去呢？其實我哋就已經要做一啲功夫去去 study 即係你唔同嘅回收物佢嗰個 size 個重量啦，其實有影響。我哋究竟嗰個 l e a c 將個口呢，開幾大呢？咁樣樣，跟住就話個口，你點解我覺得？見到我哋講回收箱口係咁樣少豆咗出嚟嘅咧，咁其實都有做過少少嘅 study 嘅，即係究竟個開口應該係平啊，應該係咁樣喺裏邊掉啊，定係點樣樣嘅咧？咁我哋都做咗 study 就係話、呃，如果我哋去即係左邊嗰個啦，如果咁樣嘅話，佢有機會你就會揩到隻手啊，幫你嗰啲污污糟嘢揩到隻手啦。咁又或者如果係個口開得太細或者平嘅，有機會有跌翻出嚟啦咁樣。咁所以我哋最尾就採用咗個有少少兜起咗咁嘅口去做嘅，咁呢個都有少少。functional 嘅 study 啊 ，concern 啦，咁啊再進一步就啊，咁就成個點樣去攞咧？就掉啲嘢落去之後咧，點樣去攞嗰啲回收物出嚟咧？因為嗰啲誒回做回收嘅工作嘅人咧，我哋都唔想佢太辛苦嘅，即係要好容易可以攞到出嚟啦。同埋而家玻璃樽啊，正話講緊啲回收物唔同大細啊、種類啦、重量都唔同嘅。不如玻璃樽，如果就咁掉落嘅時候，會唔會好響咧？會撞到好攪教咧？咁咁亦都有少少一啲咁樣嘅。routing 嘅嘢去 control 佢跌落去嗰、那個個 part 減低個撞擊個力啦咁樣，即係諸如此類都做咗呢啲咁嘅 study， 我哋先至 propose 嗰個邊身。咁啊，跟住又包括嗰個成個佈局啦，因為誒嗰啲店咧又大有細啦，咁有陣時又好好長型啊，有陣時好方型啊，咁有啲又話要求誒啊，想後邊有個 office 啊咁樣，咁呢啲在在咧，其實我哋都要考慮好多 practical 嘅因因素去設計。咁但係。呢、这個咁多樣嘢，其實呢，再加埋嗰個 s o f t w a r 啦，最初 s o f t w a r 係咁嘅，我哋 propose 冇冇咁啲嘅添啊。咁啊，呢度我哋又要再次感謝即係、就是、政府最最尾竟然可以接受一個乜都冇嘅一個喺個喺個佛山嗰度，淨係得個六字嘅啫。我覺得呢個係誒、呃、後來佢接受咗嗰個方案，係令到成件事更加 effective， 因為佢好幫到我哋 project 一個好 clean 嘅 image 啊 ，for 個 brand。第二話佢開開始 launch 嘅時候咧，其實引起好多人嘅注意，好多人咧。望到個綠仔唔知係咩嚟嘅頭頭，咁有好多人以為係誒，又咪係咪係咪三仔嘅嘅 partner 有一間新嘅誒、呃、一啲誒 telecommunication 公司啊咁樣，咁所以其實嗰件事好幫到。咁我哋正話大家見到嗰啲咧，就係我哋喺第一個階段 present 俾政府嘅嘢，其實佢哋都好快都接受曬。咁我哋好開心啦，諗住哇開工啦，即係即刻就嗱臨做啦咁樣。咁但跟住落去，我哋而家先發覺咧，個真正嘅挑戰咧係嗰陣時先開始。因為咧，佢成件事咧，其實佢哋政府有呢個咁嘅 scheme， 廿二間鋪啦，叫做其實係由廿二個唔同嘅 NGO 咧去 bid 翻嚟去 win 嘅。咁 by the time 我哋去接手去做個 design 嘅時候咧，其實佢哋啲 contract 咧已經俾曬出去㗎啦，即係係已經定曬邊廿幾間，甚至乎有啲咧佢哋亦都已經 base 上佢哋自己嘅 budget 咧，去諗住點去裝修間鋪嘅，因為。最初佢哋去 bid 嘅時候，未必知道啊，原來要做 branding 嘅嘢喎，咁樣樣，或者要配合我哋 branding 咁樣。所以跟住我哋個工作咧，就係我哋咧，首先咧就要同佢做好多 workshop， 去解説我哋而家成件事嗰個 branding 其實係點嘅。啊，點解要做 branding 啊？有好多係諗唔明白嘅咧。其實佢會覺得我哋係好麻煩嘅，因為覺得喂，我明明咁做得，你又話咁又唔得，又要咁先得。咁加上咧，跟住佢哋咧廿二個 operator 咧，就有廿二個唔同嘅。operation 嘅模式嘅喎，有啲話我想要張台，有啲話我唔要台，有啲話我要想洗手，有啲話洗手好麻煩嘅，我唔要水喉。咁淨係呢度咧就要都啊拉咗一大輪咧，我哋先可以開得工。咁更加重要就係咧成件事咧好趕啊，因為我哋係我俾個數俾大家想像下，你開一平時我哋開一間鋪，連設計連裝修個零兩個月都好正常啦，係咪？嗱呢度咧我哋要喺六個月裏面咧係開廿二間嗰時。仲要係 work with 廿二個唔同嘅 operator 應付佢哋廿二個唔同 operator 嘅需要，咁所以嗰陣時其實係一件好 challenging 嘅事
啊，冇錯啦，即係大家好幫手啦。咁誒都花咗好多唇舌啦，我但係咧不都裏邊咧，譬如做 new version 嘅時候，我哋遇過有好幾個 operator 咧係好唔高興嘅，即係覺得我哋啊令到件事好麻煩，可能甚至增加咗佢哋裝修嘅成本啊咁樣。其中一個鬧得好緊要嘅添嘅喺個喺個 version 度，但係咧好事咧就當後屘佢真係開張嗰陣時咧，我哋都喺度開張嘅時候。佢咧開心到不得了，整咗間鋪出嚟好靚嘅時候咧，佢自己要做埋一個大事咁樣，就同啲市民講啊，入嚟睇下，入嚟睇下，唔知係咩嚟嘅咧，做回收嘅，冇諗過係咁嘅咧，入嚟睇下，入嚟睇，即係好開心，佢用佢仲興奮過我哋。咁所以成件事係好 challenging， 但係亦都好好 rewarding 嘅對我哋嚟講。咁啊啦，呢、這個出咗嚟嘅，我諗如果大家有見過嘅，誒就會大概知道都係咁嘅樣啦。咁但係如果未去過嘅或者未幫襯過嘅，我希望大家。從今日都可以改變個習慣，即係標一個習慣去做 recycling 啦。咁裏邊咧，我哋嗰啲 interior design 誒，儘量係好啲好簡單啦。喺我哋做 workshop 嘅時候咧，其中一個爭拗點咧就係佢哋最大嘅 query 就嚇白濛濛嘅，咁好容易污糟咯。因為你見到佢哋以前上一代嗰啲回收中心好撈舊污糟噶嘛。我話你咁白濛濛咪好污糟，我咪成日都要抹，成日都要洗咁樣樣。咁但係我哋話俾你聽個理論咧，就係、是、大家有冇有冇留意嗰啲？誒、呃、五星級或者三星嘅米芝蓮三星嗰啲法國餐廳，啲台布全部都白色嘅，好少五顏六色嘅喎。嗱點解咧？佢食嘢都污糟嘅噃，食嘢都好易整污糟喎。但係正正就係你越係整潔嘅地方，你越係一個整潔嘅印象咩人咧，啲人咧就越 behave， 佢越係唔敢咧去輕易去整污糟嘅地方。如果你整到好似好容易好啊，你污糟咗都唔覺嘅話咧，啲人就唔會唔 care 噶啦。咁我哋就係咁樣用一個咁嘅理理論去說服佢哋，頭多佢哋都唔接受嘅。咁但系后屘慢慢就接受，咁呢个就出咗嚟嘅样啦。咁我尽量去到 lift 啦。咁但系咧，我哋都诶学咗啲嘢嘅，都受咗啲教训嘅。最初咧，我哋将呢啲呢啲回收嘅说明咧，即系话呢个系咪有红灯？冇、okay. 啊。OK， 呢啲回收物嘅说明咧，就做到好 lift 咁样，好 design 咁样摆喺下边啦。咁你觉觉得啲人会睇到啦。咁啊，诶，点经过第一代嘅 operation 之后，发觉咧，原来系睇唔到嘅。咁好多人咧，不停咧就去問翻啲同事啊，搞到嗰啲做 operation 嘅同事咧都好忙。咁所以我哋跟住第二代嘅時候咧，就 improve 咗啊，一間再俾大家睇下。亦都包括呢啲有，佢部分大嘅店咧就會有一啲咁樣嘅公共嘅空間去做一啲 activities 嘅。咁一啲簡單嘅 poster 咧，我哋都要做啦。誒，另外就夜間啦，最初係冇呢一樣嘢嘅。咁但係咧話第一陣一出嘅時候咧，因為太受歡迎啦。咁咧，嗰啲佢哋有一個煩惱咧，就每一日翻去開鋪嘅時候咧，就有一大堆嗰啲回收物劈咗喺個門口度，因為佢哋收七點，七點之後其實好多人放工之後咧，先得閒做回收嘅，但係咧就往往佢哋閂咗門咧，做唔到回收，又或者好多已經枯咗，咁咧就佢哋就唔理啦。既然攞到嚟咧，就劈咗門口度，咁啊搞到咧就好麻煩。咁所以我哋後屘就加咗個叫。custom made 嘅 beautiful， 咁啊，跟住就係啦，就後來就 develop 咗，好、哦、聲 ，OK，develop 咗個誒老樂相嘅誒 scheme 啦，咁啊，後來就誒、呃、一張卡最初係卡啦，後屘就 develop 咗個 app 啦，而家都鼓勵大家都用 app 噶啦，少啲印嗰啲卡啦，咁就你係啦，去做回收就儲分啦，咁就都去換唔同嘅我哋叫禮品啦，但係 more 係啲嘢用品嚟嘅，咁呢度都有一個少少嘅故事啦。誒咁啱啦！琴日我哋誒帶啲誒 guest 啦，誒瑞士嘅 guest 上去參觀跑馬地嗰間誒回收回收店啦。咁啊，佢其中睇完之後，其中有一個 guest 都走嚟問我啊，你哋其實成件事都好好啊，但係你點解換嗰啲嘢都仍然有一啲嘅膠嘅包裝，或者有一啲嘅唔環保嘅物料嘅包裝呢？咁樣？咁呢個都係有啲對我哋係一個、呃、警醒嚟嘅，同埋我諗我哋要進一步做好啲。因為呢個我哋最初嘅時候都有同埋好似傾嘅，都係話啊，可唔可以換一啲更加環保嘅 item 呢？咁但係我諗嗰陣時好多因素考慮因為希望嗰啲嘢又唔係啲 fans 嘅嘢，希望啲人係啲市民可以用到或者食到好 basic 嘅嘢。咁但係呢一類嘅產品又要好低成本，因為 for free， 
。咁呢一類咁嘅產品咧，喺目前喺市場上面，如果話要好環保嘅狀況嘅話，個選擇係唔多。咁所以呢個你可以當係一個我哋開始嘅階段，一個。誒、呃、權宜嘅一個選擇啦，咁我但係我哋都一路都同佢哋傾緊，有冇睇下有啲好啲嘅 improvement 嘅？咁、啊、我哋都做咗一條片 ，promo 嗰個片。咁成件事我哋都希望做到比較型啲啦、酷啲啦，即係有種 lifestyle 嘅感覺啦。咁可以咁變咗，即係出嚟嘅效果的，而且個口碑係唔錯嘅。咁誒個回收量亦都以倍數咁樣增加啦，增加咗。我諗我哋得到嘅數字就喺頭嗰半年 roll out 咧，其實佢嗰個收集嘅誒、呃、收集嗰個回收量咧，比之前多三至四倍嘅。咁而家仲一路一路增加緊，因為而家亦都越嚟越開越多啦。咁啊，最重要就係成個。嚟嘅人個 demograph 都轉變咗啦，之前就好似就所講，即係一啲深綠人士啦，或者正話嗰啲執紙皮嘅婆婆啦咁樣。但係而家咧就好多喺啲 young family 啦，尤其是好多小朋友啦，啲幼稚園帶好多啲小朋友嚟到俾佢哋參觀啊，教佢哋用啊咁樣樣咯，好開心嘅。即係成件事誒喺裏邊 even 嘅職員都好開心嘅，見到嗰個轉變。咁。咁跟住呢，做完啲浸之後呢，我哋就返返轉頭呢。因為呢，正話講呢啲大站呢，其實喺我哋做接手做第二代嘅回收中心嘅時候，佢哋已經存在，有成十一個喺唔同嘅大站喺度。咁嗰陣時佢哋就係用緊佢哋以前嘅形象啦。咁我哋做完第一浸個店之後呢，我哋將嗰個 branding 呢就 apply 喺、呃、其他嘅呢啲所謂大站嗰度咯。<笑>因為佢哋之前呢，譬如六在區區、六在乜乜、六在乜，佢哋全部自己各自去做嘅。咁就冇一個統一嘅 image 或者一個 identity， 咁所以我哋就一間一間咁樣做，而家應該都八八九九噶啦，即係我哋嘅 design 出咗八八九九，但係佢哋要時間去 implement 啦，亦即係逐個大站去將我哋成個 identity apply 翻落去咯。依家見到呢個就係灣仔呢個好型係咪？呢、這個因為呢個建築本身都係一個通過設計、呃、通過一個比賽係誒誒贏咗得獎嗰、那個，跟佢嘅 design 做出嚟。系啦，咁啊喺喺啲大站嘅时候呢，我哋又借机再进一步 improve 咧成个回收系统啊，即系我提过一个我哋 l e 咗个教训，就话嗰啲嗰啲 description 呢，教人点样回收嗰啲呢，唔能够太过 design 啦，太过 minimal 啦。咁所以我哋而家做得好清楚，同埋将个 color 再强化，就摆咗喺里面。即係佢掉之前望喺里面呢，其实就会清楚嘅睇见到咧边啲收得，边啲唔收得噶啦。咁诶、呃，经过大概二十。唔知我唔記得二十定二十二個月啦，咁咧其實而家咧成個回收嘅網絡咧，大家見到咧就係、是、我哋有中有十一個大站啦，所謂 recycle 嘅 station 啦。咁我哋喺 phase one 就正話提過啦，喺半年內我哋開咗廿二間嘅、呃、六仔店啦，我哋叫做咁。但係咧 phase two 咧，其實亦都再開多咗十間，咁即係話而家 total 有三十二間嘅六仔店，再加埋有十一個大站，咁啊叫做分佈得好密噶啦。咁但係其實、呃政府都覺得仲係唔夠嘅，其實希望可以再方便啲嘅，所以咧再進一步我哋推嘅咧就係、是、呢樣嘢啦。我唔知道大家喺街度有冇留意過，係啊，就係、是、咧見到呢個 sign。如果你喺街度見到呢個 sign 喺對燈柱嗰度咧，即係話喺佢下面附近咧就會有個流動嘅回收站。因為流動回收站唔係佢，只不過定時定點會出現嘅，所以你見到個 sign 佢未必即刻就喺下面嘅，但係佢下面就會有個 sign 話俾你聽嗰、那個、呃、回收站大概咩時間幾時會出現嘅。咁呢個就誒呢、呃這個回收站呢，就有過過百個嘅，超過一百個嘅全港，咁所以呢，就都盡量去方便市民去做回收。我畀一條有趣嘅片俾大家睇啦。
站嗰度回收嘅，我個站嗰度。係啊，咁啊覺得嗰啲嘢用得咧，掉咗佢咧就好嘥嘅。咁有得回收咧，回收慣咗咧，你叫我補分咧，我都覺得好好好咯。你回收咧啲嘢再用過咧。心覺得好好好啊，個心係啦，因為善用啲嘢係咪好勤力啊？因為呢個站都係過嚟嘅。誒、呃，呢、這個站睇啊，以前誒、呃、去嗰度好近嘅。啊，呢、這個位仲更加好難啦，因為咧舊鋪就搬咗去可能舊嗰啲，舊鋪係啦。咁啊，但係我哋喺唔同嘅地點都有呢啲咁嘅街站，希望即係近翻啲街坊咯。係啊，同埋咧習慣咗回收，慢慢咧咁樣啲市民都會、呃有有成咗呢個習慣之後，就會繼續做。多謝你支持啊！係啊係啊，好好啊！我哋咧繼續睇下有冇咩可以改善，再做。哦，好啊好啊。嗱、啊，呢、这個唔係做妹嘅嚇，呢、啊这個係咧。當時我哋去擺街站嘅時候，我哋啱啱我落到去睇下個情況係點嘅，同埋環保司嘅同事落到去，咁啊遇到有一個阿、啊啊啊、嬸，咁佢又好有興趣同佢傾偈，咁咪咁呢個阿紅咧側邊就拍低咗落嚟嘅，咁啊呢個、呃、我哋覺得係一個好有趣嘅分享。系啦，咁誒成件事，當我嗰個 network 即係鋪得七七八八嘅時候，咁我係做咗一次比較大規模嘅 mass 嘅 media 嘅 promotion 啦。咁啊，有有啲 MTR 個廣告啊，有啲有啲 train， 有啲 tram 啊，嚟到巴士廣告啊咁樣樣咯。咁所以話啦，即係我哋嘅 role 就除咗係誒喺嗰個店之外咧，亦都包括咗一啲 promotion 嘅嘅東西啦。咁誒、呃，跟住就我哋再進一步呢，就做廚餘啦。正話阿局長講話廚餘喺我哋成個。誒、呃、誒，呢、呃这個 waste 嗰度呢，其實佔嘅比例都好高嘅，咁所以呢，就 next step， 而家咧政府就開始推廚餘嘅回收啦。咁呢個係亦都係配合誒嚟緊，呃、我哋會做嗰、那個誒、呃、垃圾徵費啦。因為如果大家煮個飯嘅呢，你就應該會好深印象嘅。其實我係每日呢，喺屋企掟嗰袋垃圾呢，廚餘呢佔嗰個份量都好重嘅。咁如果第日垃圾徵費嘅時候呢，你就會覺得嗰度呢好重皮㗎啦。咁所以呢，就而家開始呢，就培養緊大家呢去做呢個廚餘回收嘅習慣呢。咁啊，唔止幫到個環境，亦都幫到大家第日慳啲錢嘅。咁呢個大家第日要響應啦。咁我我播埋呢條。原來我哋每日抌咗嘅廚餘係佔咗堆填區垃圾嘅三成，相等於二千萬個蘋果咁重。除咗要識食米沙嘢，將剩食捐俾有需要嘅人，我哋仲要學識處理廚餘，唔好浪費有機資源，一齊將佢轉廢為能。环保署嘅厨余收集先导计划，收集嚟自工商业同家居喺源头已经分类嘅厨余，无论喺屋企、餐厅、学校、食物工厂、有生、熟、食剩或变坏嘅食物，将可回收嘅厨余放入紫色回收桶。呢啲厨余就会送到去 O Park 一或者其他有机资源回收设施，转化成再生能源嚟发电，同埋可以帮助种植嘅堆肥，减碳又环保。仲可以帮你减少垃圾收费嘅开支，厨余回收立即行动，记得抌少啲，悭多啲，识回收。成件事即係六仔店嗰個之後，我哋都有攞去嘗試參加比賽啦。咁好彩，亦都攞咗好多嘅獎。咁呢個係其中一個我哋覺得都幾大嘅獎嘅，就喺誒 Design for Asia 嗰度攞咗個 Grand Award 啦。咁啊，剛剛才局長話嗰個推廣嘅獎係政府項目第一個攞嘅一個大嘅獎啦。咁呢個喺設計上面，可能我哋印象中都係政府項目攞到一個即係、就是、第一次攞到咁大嘅獎。咁但係我最後想分享嘅就係話。作為設計師，我哋一路呢，其實好開心嘅攞獎嘅，成日見到自己啲作品擺喺啲誒誒設計會堂啊，或者展覽嗰度就好開心，或者啲書裏面好開心啊。但係呢張相呢，係阿紅呢，誒個零月前呢，行過垃圾站影嘅。佢當時影咗張相嘅時候呢，佢好深感受，佢突然間覺得第一次見到自己嘅作品喺個垃圾房嗰度呢，嗰種興奮同開心呢，原來係比擺喺本設計嘅獎嘅書裏面仲更加興奮。咁呢個我覺得係想。交代少少我哋嗰心態，即係撤師。我哋喺呢咁做咗咁多年咧，我哋以前就好想高火一啲好好 glittering 啊，好 glamorous 嘅 moment 啊。但我覺得而家其實作為撤師，尤其是響應而家整個大嘅潮流咧，其實我哋應該多多多諗下一啲真係對環保或者實際幫到每每個人嘅生活嘅層面，我哋做設計，我諗我哋覺得會更加開心啲。OK，thank、okay, you。Thank you, Mr. Yu, for your sharing. 
Next, we'd like get to have Mr. Chok Chan, co-founder and CEO of EcoInno Hong Kong Limited, to share with us. Mr. Chen has developed platforms to promote environmental issues, the zero plastic movement, and sustainability in the communication community. He hopes to motivate the next generation to pursue sustainability. Now, let's welcome Mr. Chen. Mr. Chen, please. Yun Zhang, our friends from Zuri, fellow students, I need to address all the students here. I was told, George, last one, you only got six minutes. Rather than go through my PowerPoint, I try to break away the routine talking. It's the first time being in Hong Kong. I'm proud to be here. I met Yunjiang, I met students, I walking around the places, and I said, where am I? I never been here before. It's not about the design, it's not about the architect. It's about the student that I met, your lifestyle. You guys hang around. And not only that, extremely fashionable. I start to come to you, I think I, I want to be here, except I need time, I need to dye my hair, you know. I need to think about should I dye it in Green or should I in something else? Design is not, I, I would say a little bit of design. I'm happy that um, what we have, you know, they're talking about, when you see your result, we're being received. Received means that not a, a, just a price. We're being used and affect the lifestyles of all us. This makes you guys here today. You are so fashionable. What is fashionable? In my, my era, we have baggy pants. We have, you know, I mean, you know. But in your era, you are almost same thing, you know, dressing up like when, in my good old days. Because it's recycle and recycle again. What makes things recycle? Why do you use it again and again? This is why I'm to try to talk about technology. What do we do is really from the direction on the policy. Without the policy supporting, it show a direction. The direction is not about entertaining myself to be something different. It's something that we can affect each other, contribute to something. Once with the policies come out, another part is that, do you have a place for me to exercise? I'm so glad I have a coffee here sitting around the door and I stand like that and people is looking at each other. That what make France, that what make Europe so beautiful. We dress up casually. There are so many sidewalk cafe that people want to sit around and enjoy the environment. So myself, I was led by Gokjiang to went to see the amazing environment that I only heard about for many years, like going to landfill, going to places like that. The first thing I said, wow, it's amazing. Amazing is not about the structure. Amazing is that we do, Hong Kong government, do care for the way that how we continue our lifestyle to give it to the next generation like you guys. Okay, that blah, 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 blah. What I do, what we did is that um, my challenge is that there is plastic. Material is the foundation of design, all of you. If you want to design, I don't care whether you are in, um, in, in industrial design, product design, fashion design, I don't care what you do. The first thing design should know about is not why you do it, where you got it. You got to acquaint it with what you do, like the material. Material is the foundation of everything. Without material, your design is only a concept. So whereas I continue to click on what we do is that we know that plastic has so much problems. You know, My challenge, why do you still continue to design your clothing with nylon? Why do you continue to design your thing with polyester? Then Peter said, what's wrong with polyester? I said, do you know polyester is plastic? Polyester is plastic? So first of all, you've got to know your material. So it means that if we do not use we so-called synthetic material, and is it possible for us to use natural material? So this is why 
what we do in Science World is to my company, myself, been invest, I don't know how many years now, to look into this. <laughs> this is a cucumber. I look into this. Do you think this is a material? My answer to you is yes. But every single plant, every single plant have cellulose. Cellulose is the cell wall of the plant. But before I look at a plant to create what it is, and I, 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 I was a landscaper, and I said, can this cucumber uh, withheld the temperature up to negative 20 degrees? Yes, because you've put it in an icy place, it's still alive. Can this cucumber, I burn it, can it be burned out and then still intain? It, it take you a long time to burn your cucumber. You just can't burn it because this is nature. So being say so, we need, when we see things, don't accept the thing that we told you what it is. When you got a cucumber in your hand, when you get a material, just like a container like that, don't just accept to see what it is. You got to go a little bit step. So I call it science. What is science? Science investigate what is already is, such as a cucumber. And what is engineering and in, involved in soil design is to create that which have never been. Means that can I transform my cucumber to something that is usable, that have another way of serving the purpose? Next. So next one, quick, quick. As I mentioned that what we do is not just the basic kind of lamination, whatever, rather human using chemicals to, to create a function, whatever. We go the most difficult way. We look into the plant cell and we look into this molecular cell loss and see, is it possible to pack the cell loss in such a way that is exactly what you're holding on hand. They are so strong, they are so tight. But what, what are they made from? Don't worry, they do not make from any chemicals that we used to. Lamination, quick way of doing it. So on material side, what we did is that I tried to pack the cucumber in such a way that cucumber suddenly become a super cucumber, like the product that you hold on. Because when you're using your container that you're having on your hand, after you use it, it's same thing like the cucumber. Means that this can be mixed up with food waste and convert to gokjeng, talk about, there's no more waste this container become electricity. If I can convert something which is usable, end of the day, I mix them up with food waste. I don't need to build a plan. I don't need to collect. I don't need to recycle. I just knock at the door of a gokjeng. I said, gokjeng, can you help me to try this out to, 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 to see whether it can be accommodate in fermentation process and aerobic. Hong Kong is such a special place. There's nowhere in the world. I'm so proud to be one of the Hong Kong citizens and doing in, in technology that our government is open up to what technology is about. Many countries know. Because we are already step, come on, paper, go into my, my, uh, my commercial plan, you're going to ruin the whole thing. So that would be gone. But anyhow, we've been working for many years. Eventually, the material that I have in, on hand, not only they can treat it afterwards, we are, nobody would be, I can't stand say, George, where do you make money? I spent 70 of my time to transform this into waste. But as I also said, when designer like you guys, you need to spend 70 times of the time to go back to your foundation, not just copy and paste not using all the fancy uh, uh, fancy software to create something you feel good, but do you learn from doing it? What does it contribute you besides copy and paste? So my suggestion is that like us, go back to the old way. Old way means that make sure your foundation is there before you can escalate to another level such that you can design, you can cut and paste, whatever you want. But first of all, do you, you need to acquaint yourself with foundation. So anyhow, cut it short, you know, the technology, the, as I say, the, the, the cucumber here, they, they, they have a cell wall, abundant in nature, they can tolerate high temperature, low temperature. At the meantime, end of the life, you can dump it out and then you can become compost. Okay, next one. So, a little bit scientific term. I, I, you know, there are some here, you know, if you know about, you know, oxygen transmission rate, what it means that, that without oxygen, 
shelf life is because of oxygen. Our food keeps fresh because of oxygen. When oxygen is in the container, the bacteria will grow. Bacteria cannot grow with oxygen. Like human, if I, am, if I do not breathe my oxygen, I die. So all the things in, 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 in our world, when you have no oxygen, you die. So if I keep, have a container and lock them out, there's no oxygen there. That's why my food can keep fresh. Simple science number one. But next thing, how, but paper for sure is porous. You know, when you blow any or tissue paper, it's come out all the thing. It can't be. So now scientific, us start to break the barrier that we keep the oxygen transmission rate means that metal is zero. If I can prove it to you that uh, I can put oxygen there and no oxygen coming out that way. Then next thing the designer say, so what? This is the part that you need to understand and next part, what to design. Once we, we treat the oxygen transmission rate, we have a tensile strand means that we pack the, the, the cell out so tight that normal plastic in, in terms of scientific terms is MPA is a tensile strain. How much weight you're gonna break it apart. This is three times stronger than plastic. They're lightweight, three times stronger than plastic and what's else? It knock on my head, I'm still here. This one, I can stand on it. Not only that, do you think that I, I would put fire on it? Click. Can I have another slide? Oh, sorry. They don't allow me. Oh, okay. Leave it there. So people ask me, George, what do you do 15, for the last 15 years? I said, I make food container. And everybody say, I'm a food container guy. They thought I have a small machine in my small workshop. Yes, I need that. This is what you guys are studying at school. You need to try using your own small little space or your little bit invention and start to test, experiment what it is. Once you've proven that or you have some confidence that you're repeatable and control, next thing, what should you do? Make it bigger. Don't do things just for yourself. Ask your neighbor, your friend, ah, I create this, how do you think? Once you start to have a dialogue, with your follow friends and, and people around you, you start to design something that might be useful for your neighbor, but not yourself. That I define an artist, an artist you only satisfy yourself. What else? For an uh, engineer, a good designer, you need to satisfy the rest of the people for the function. Go on. So not only because the new material they reinvented, we need to work on, look at all the machine we want. So behind the scene, we have AI, robotic, crazy investment, doing all the machine is irrelevant here because we need to control the quality and make sure the product come out the way that it is. That is hard work. This is what I went to school for. I was told the room wasn't built in one day. You need to go step by steps. So of the young people, they don't, you don't have steps. You just click on your Googles, you, you jump 20 story. But for me, I need to go step by steps. In that way, I need to build a machine, click on some machine more. I need to find Fan Jun I need to build a machine. You can see a robot. There's so much challenge in there. We build the whole thing within two years. You build a 20 in 20 months. We build all the machine of the mechanic on the robotic in two years, including everything else. To me, this is not magic, not miracles, because we've been working this for, 20, for 16 years until the time come that I build all this. That is why you go to school. You go to school not to do something that 20 years later, you go to school, make sure your foundation is still there. I got two minutes left and I'm gonna use one and a half, jump. So this will be the next era because for us to do, to circular whatever, not only I'm entering myself, my goal is that can I transform my technology to you and you and you and you make it. I can make it, that's okay. So our way of life, if the product is so good, can I allow you, enable you to make it on your side? So this is what we call open your boxes, open your horizon. No matter what you do, don't just do it selfishly. If you can think that I want to do some meaningful, do some meaningful that can benefit the environment, something else. So I happen to be one of them. Okay, quick. Circle economy. So this is, we need to serve industry. We pick the most difficult one. We work with Italian supplier. We claim that we can make a coffee capsule. Seven years ago, people say, you're crazy. 
how can paper make a coffee capsule? We succeeded in making the first coffee capsule, 100% paper. After you use it, you dump it into your garden. You put it even in your ocean. We got bio, we got marine. We have already TUV marine. It means that all my container, everything else, you put in the ocean would be this will be eaten up by microbials, and then there's nothing to down with harm because no chemicals, nothing in it. One minute, one more, quick, 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 quick. So we convert kitchen, we convert normal cook served kitchen to cook chill kitchen. Means that we can preserve the food rather than throw the food away. It won't that we can frozen it. We can we can preserve it for four months and send to all around the world. Not only the container. The container allowed the transportation because of the timing, because of the freezing. In the meantime, we don't have shops. We put them into vending machine. So there will be a very soon a vending machine happen in the university. I hope what you will, Madame, very soon. I hope we're going to put a vending machine there with a frozen food in there. All you need to do have 20 different items. You click your things that wow, the food come out. You got nowhere. So that is what technology can do. So be prepared to accept surprises. Be prepared to think about something that unthinkable. This is why your generation is much advanced than mine. After I said it, don't trust what I say. Go to Google and click it. Can find out what I said. Okay, one more time. Do you believe the good container can put in fire? This is crazy. Go on. And can I have a video? Come down. Human is seeing the belief. If you don't see it, you will never believe what I see. In science, this is quite obvious. No oxygen. By the way, this is one time disposable. Don't do it as you say, it's a dangerous, it's a warning. You know? <laughs> but your container, you can do with it. Wow. You can cook, you can chill, you can steam, you can fry it in any container that you hold on to that. And then you can make more. So this, what this is, is not a gimmick. Science technology have to be obvious. When you all see this, do you still have a doubt what science is about? If you don't have the doubt, don't throw my container to landfill, please. Put it in that boxes. If you put the set box in that boxes, I, we take responsibility to make sure the boxes will go to OPAC 1 to create energy. This is exactly what Lok Jai is doing. When you dump the thing in Lok Jai, they make sure it's properly treated to sort of close our loop. When I say closing the loop of sustainability. You, you love your, you see. <laughs> now, you see, I have to thank the Hong Kong government rather than people keep on asking, the go can government do this, can government do that? We ask, what can us, the community to do? Don't ask what the government can do. What can we contribute on our part? to enhance what's been already there. Rather than making some new things investment, why can't we study and make that in existing what the government do? And we try four years to do this, not only doing this. After that, allow me to say, I present this whole concept to Japanese government. I present this whole concept to other government in the world. When they see that all the loops been made, they say, George, I want to do it in my country too. So this is why we are so lucky in Hong Kong. We are so lucky to have a Gokjong right there have a vision of what in the future is food waste treatment is so important. But this is a, one of the biggest problems all around the world. Food waste also involved on food saving. It's two-sided. It's not one-sided. Okay? My dream, just like that. I hope my ocean still will be the way that it is. I hope my temperature will not be 45 degrees. And I hope the tree will be still green like that. Next one. Next things. Have fun. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chen, for your sharing. After the master lecture and the sharing, may I invite all Hong Kong experts and Swiss experts to come to the stage for a panel discussion led by Mr. Wong Ken Singh. It is our great honor to have flying Swiss experts joining us today. They are 
Professor Michael Kron. Professor Kron has a background in industrial design and design engineering. His academic interests are in research, education, and innovation, and focusing on sustainable methods and systems. Ms. Karen Sindel. Ms. Sindel's work consists of teaching activities as well as the creation of international exhibitions, conferences, and research projects. Her research explores how speculative processes can lead to significant transformations. Ms. I Ms. Ilia, Ms. Is Ms. Isabella Gaigas, she is a fashion anthropologist and researcher focusing on the intersection of fashion, critical theory, sociology, sustainability, collaboration, design thinking, and futurism. Without further ado, let's start the panel discussion. Okay. Mr. Wong, the floor is yours. Okay. I was told that uh, six is a good number, so we will end the event by six, okay? <laughs> And green. We have uh, and green. nine minutes. Okay. So, firstly, I would like to ask around and the, uh, anyone here from the audience would like to raise questions. So, I understand uh, how many questions from the four. Okay. No questions. Okay. One. Okay. Any more? Okay. So, before, uh, okay, Michael, ask questions and then I will invite uh, uh, this Michael, uh, Karen, and uh, Isabella to give some feedback or comments after today's event. Uh, Michael. Okay, thank you. Um, let's see. So, so I, I think uh, today's lecture raised a lot of uh, answer and a lot of uh, questions. Uh, I don't know how to bind them all up, uh, especially uh, like our students or our school and the sustainability seems to be a very big piece of uh, puzzle that needs a lot of people to put up together. Uh, let's see, maybe my question, I, I can say lots of solutions. Uh, maybe there's uh, also lots of behavioral um, aspect inside to say like all our students can use to, it's, it's not only a design, it's not a product, but it's a kind of lifestyle or, or habit. Uh, in maybe uh, for, for overseas, um, um, a professor or, or others, um, maybe uh, uh, Mr. Wong, you can see, is, is there any study in a, maybe uh, social behavioral studies or a psychological studies to help people to tie up all this complication stuff and become part of their behavior? Yeah. Okay. Of. Thank you, Michael, for your long question. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so I think uh, each of us should have time to respond. So I would like to invite our guests, Michael first, and then Karen and Isabella to give some response to his questions or in general, and then uh, Eddie and George, and lastly me, Michael. Um, when we were uh, uh, listening to Eddie's uh, presentation about six, uh, your, your, your concept, uh, Mrs. Ong was asking me how we do that in Switzerland. And I explained to her a little bit that we collect uh, glass, metal, uh, biodegradable stuff, but even paper and cardboard. Uh, and I showed her some pictures. And then she asked me, for how long are you doing that? And I said, yeah, I, I can't remember for how long, but since I was a child. And then we figured out that this is, is a highly a cultural thing, you know, how you treat your uh, resources. And... I can't say we are better than you, but we are used that, for example, uh, paper, paper, newspaper, you get every morning that we have a calendar on our fridge and we see when our government, the city is collecting paper, is collecting cardboard, is collecting green. So there comes a lorry along the street. We pack everything. They put it. And she asked me, who is paying this? And we said, we, we pay, we pay with our taxes. And this is a cultural thing. Also that we bring back our bottles. Switzerland has nearly 100% uh, return of, of glass, nearly 100% and with paper the same. And that's like like a culture, you know? And it's not a question, if I ask myself since when, since, since when we are doing that, 
I said, like forever. I can't remember that we did, did other. And I think that's a that's the point, the cultural turn. When people think that's normal, that we collect things, that's, I've, it's normal. It's like going shopping every day. Yeah, and this is, uh, you know, cultural is also about education. And uh, I think this is, to me, the, the experience I had today with uh, all your presentation is that you are working on it. Hong Kong is actually a little bit behind, but there is a lot a lot happening right now and uh, and also for you students that are here i think it is a very important and also inspiring it's it's just not inspire uh, hkdi but it is really supposed to inspire you what the school is doing what is being offered here and uh, to me it's also very um, inspiring to see what you guys are initiating and uh, i also need to say the the behavior part it is something that it takes time it takes a long time but we need to do this you know in 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 step by step and education and our position as tutors but also as consumers is a very very important way to do it and to make the change and really to improve the whole situation that we are living now that is this extremely uh climate change yeah um so you ask you also ask about studies and how this entire effort uh, can be implemented or like how you can make people do something and um on my reading list uh, i tried to check it on my phone but on my reading list you will find um, a paper called eco habitus and eco powerlessness um, whereas uh, different, they study different um, socioeconomic uh, groups and how they feel about their possibility to change something within um, for the future, how they can be sustainable. And they found that um, as uh, we live in a consumerist era where we think that every solution has to be about shopping or buying a a very sustainable product that people with a lower income might be still very concerned with the future and with sustainability but they feel they cannot do anything about it because they don't have the means to buy into sustainability and what we saw today with this um uh for example the recycling collection points etc i think that this is a very interesting um 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 action to give people alternatives to engage with their future that have nothing to do with consumption you don't need any money to do something good for the future actually by reducing you do something good for um, the future and this is something that gives people the notion of power and if you feel that you can do something then you will be more encouraged to do even more i think that it doesn't depend on the um, the culture is one part, but you have to have the culture of um, feeling empowered. So what we're seeing now, I think this is something that goes in the direction of eco habitus, that you are that you have the habit to think and act ecologically, and that you have the habit that you have power to do something. Okay. Um, I think I agree that it's about culture. Uh, I think which uh, it takes a lot of education and continued promotion to change the behavior or the mindset of uh, the people living here. So as a designer on uh, visual communication, I think <clears throat> we got a lot of job to do. So, because I, I'm, I've been saying that we are not selling product, we are not selling services. In many times we are selling ideology, we are selling uh, a sense of values. So what we can do as a communication designer, I think we, we can keep promoting, you know, the proper concept to trying to, you know, to change people's mindset, uh, enhance their behavior. I think the uh, Lok Jai case uh, is, is actually quite an interesting case to showcase that how all this come together to change the people's mindset on recycling and also their behavior and how to handling the recycling process. I think that's quite an interesting experience for me. And I also agree that Hong Kong is a little bit behind, and I think we are just at the starting point. And in my own context as a professional designer, uh, we've been working on you know environmental uh, uh, protection related projects for the last ten to eight years. But uh, we, we mainly 
our client mainly come from you know the cultural sector or uh, 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 government departments. Seldom we 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 can we could come across you know commercial client that really have some new idea or really uh, sustainable ideas to be you know implemented in their business because we always think that <clears throat> if uh, uh, commercial applications, particularly in Hong Kong as a highly commercialized cities, commercial applications is uh, more impactful than just a, you know a normal promotion. So we are very happy to see to meet uh, you know George and to see the, the new invention that I see a lot of potential and promises there. My turn. <laughs> Last but not least, trust. Culture is just an image. Every individual, you can think by yourself. You make judgment by yourself. Even though you are affected by other behavior, the most foundation thing is the trust. Do I trust the thing that you present me is really green? Do I trust the bottle that I dump really end up where it is? Do I trust the things that we did actually does benefit something or just another sophisticating of lifestyle? I line up in six, I'm so fancy, I'm a modern person because I am doing this. What is the intention? So answer the question. Here, we have education, we have all this that around us, facilities, is enable us to, first of all, relying on facts. Don't rely on what other people say. Don't even trust Google. Because that affected our whole life, affected our directions. We have, we have all the means because I, I, can I have a paper cup, Sincere? I asked 100 people that they believe not using plastic cup, they use paper cup, is, is, is amazing. I do my part in using paper cup. Until I show them, do you know that the paper cup are laminated with plastic? He said, George, I never knew about that. They're all scientists. I said, then why do you accept it in the first place? Because you know that paper cannot sustain the heat. But why you accept that? Because people told you? So this is the part that I, I, I want to pinpoint. Science is the foundation of facts. Go back to your fact check. Don't say bioplastic is beautiful and that is not. Don't make judgment. Okay. So anyhow, I think once you, 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 we, we start to understand not just going to do something because I'm doing something, is that meantime doing something also cultivate your curiosity. Why? This is why we need education. So answer the question, in order to not to change the behavior, to enhance something that is correct, number one, please study. Do facts check. After that, the thing that you see, then you say, aha, this is greenwashing. Aha, that is not. Okay, this is my point today. Okay, um, finally. Okay, to answer Michael's question is that cultural change is challenging, but probably to start by myself and start you by yourself. Okay, for instance, my home, okay, publicized by the media is famous. Okay, we don't have the space conditioner in my living room, even though it's hot summer in Hong Kong. Okay, my daughter is similar to the ages of students here. She's happy and we are half healthy. We never waste any food at home. And even and when I was the minister, when I have lunch and dinner with the chief executive, the Cedar Gok Jung, okay, they are all really fighting <laughs> because we all have to be food wise and don't waste any food. To make the cultural change, we did change the policy for the whole government in the past when we have the Chinese banquet, egg, main dishes. No one in Hong Kong can finish all the foods, right? How about changing the policy from egg dishes, mobile toilet, six dishes, good enough, right? So I think we can all start by yourself, okay? The Hong Kong DI under Dr. Ong can need the whole institute to have the cultural change, right? Set the policies to reduce waste. For instance, for the headquarters of the Hong Kong government, low plastic auto water, that's the policy, okay? 
So I think we can all start from your family, from yourself, and from your institute. And I think all students here will be our future. Then you can also demonstrate how to do green living. And in the future, when you start your job, also integrate everything in your career. When I was young, similar to your age, I started on green architecture in the early 90s. Okay, that made me famous. That gave me opportunity. And I'm happy to doing things that's meaningful for me and for you, for my children, and for everyone. Thank you. It's over six. Okay. Huh? Thank you for all your wonderful sharing. Once again, please accept our deepest thanks for today's sharing. May I now invite all guests to come to the stage and take our group photo, please. Dr. Lei Lian Ao, Mr. Wang Wong, Ms. Elita Lam, and Mr. Michael Chen, please. Please look at the camera, smile. Thank you. Thank you. Please be seated. In the upcoming pre master lectures, Swiss experts will shed light on sustainable design in their professions. Running concurrently is the waste age. What can we do? What can design do? Exhibition. Please join us for all of these lectures and visit the exhibition. We look forward to seeing you. Now it comes to the end of the master lecture. Thank you everyone for joining us today. Goodbye. Bye.